Uh, okay guys, this is a little bit of a teaser. Um, <clears throat> I decided that my next project won't really be a radio restore. Um, it's going to be something that hopefully will help improve the performance on medium wave or broadcast band uh, for the radios that I do have. Uh, because where I am, it's kind of in a bad location for picking up uh, especially the uh, medium wave. I'm stuck sort of between two mountains. And so I came across this project which is a, an active ferrite loop antenna uh, which basically takes the principle of your regular ferrite rod uh, loop that you'd find in a regular radio and uh, amplifying the whole thing by putting a whole load of uh, I think six or seven long ferrite rods in here um, with the appropriate uh, coils and then a whole bunch of uh, active circuitry that lets you manipulate Q and all sorts of things um, and uh, this little turret assembly here lets you not only rotate the aerial to give you the direction horizontally but also it has uh, an ability to rotate this uh, antenna up and down um, in case it's actually some sort of reflections that are the strongest uh, signal that happens to arrive. So, <clears throat> this is a vacation project, uh, which I'll get to hopefully in a couple of weeks time. Um, so I've started building up the uh, kit of components and show you what I got in a minute. Um, but basically, uh, the circuit description is fairly straightforward. Um, I think the construction of the whole turret thing is going to be the challenge, but we'll see how it goes. Um, it does require making a circuit, a PCP, because this is actually from a magazine called Everyday Practical Electronics from September 2000. Um, and I went on their website, and uh, they don't have this anymore. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So, um, I was just figuring out the last time I actually etched a PCB was sometime around 1977. 76, 77. So, um, yeah. <laughs> that was a while ago. Still, we give it a shot. Um, why not? Um, and so, yes, I think the rest is... Uh, I'll give you an idea what it looked like when it's done. Um, mine won't be exactly the same. And, of course, as I'm sure you guys know, finding semiconductors that are, like, 15 years old is many times way harder than trying to find... Uh, valves or tubes that are like 50 years old so I have I think I have most of what I need or equivalents um, but uh, yeah we'll see we'll see so that's the plan that's the little project we're gonna get going on um, yeah, in a couple of weeks time assuming the weather picks up and I can get this guitar out of the way um, so quick run through of the bits and pieces that I've got so far So, uh, base, project box for the base, a uh, piece of uh, copper clad board, uh, battery box for the 9 volt battery, uh, then a whole bunch of uh, the uh, various pots, potentiometers. Uh, the way the turret assembly fits onto the top is actually with a stereo socket here on the, on the top. And then there's a stereo plug coming out of the top of the turret. It just sits on there and then you make a little uh, ring mechanism so it can rotate uh, without all the weight being on the jack plug. Uh, various antenna sockets so that you can just put a regular antenna in and bypass the active stuff if you want. The knobs and stuff. Um, various components, capacitors, the ones I didn't have. Uh, resistors I had anyway. Um, uh, the right gauge wire for doing the um, making the coil. Um, and the FET, um, according to the documentation, anyway, this equivalent NT133 should be okay. Um, 
in terms of the voltage and current characteristics it seems to be very similar to the one that's in there and the, the project text says that it's relatively flexible uh, in terms of what you get the thing I wasn't sure I'd be able to find uh, was the ferrite rods however I did find some and so I got, a, I got ten of them the um, the project I think cost for seven, um, but there was a price break for ten, so I thought, hey, I take very heavy. Um, I'm they're probably longer than what's required in the in the actual project, and I'm not sure. I I can't see myself cutting them. I think I'll just make them that length. So that's all of that, um, and then I think the turret. I'll just sort of build that as I go, and so as I need. Parts, um, I'll just go get them. Um, so the first thing will be to etch the circuit. So for etching the circuit, um, any of the ones I've done in the past have all been done with uh, ferric chloride. So for a change this time, I'm going to have a go with sodium persulfate because according to what I've read. It's less, uh, doesn't make such a mess, and it certainly doesn't stain everything um, like ferric chloride does. Um, and so that'll be another interesting learning as we go. Um, and also, I'm going to do the old, uh, I'm going to try at least, uh, do the uh, print it on the laser jet and then iron it on uh, to the copper and uh, see how that process goes and I think I have enough on this to do two in case one of them goes completely wrong so there we go uh, that's it <laughs>